Katia V5, Human Builder. We're gonna take a look at the vision window. So over here, if I will select it, afterwards the mannequin, I will see that we're gonna have this secondary window appearing. And by default, this is set to a binocular vision. If you wanna change that, you can go right click, properties, and we're gonna see the vision type over here. So we have binocular. I can swap this to MB binocular. We can also change different uh, elements regarding the field of view. For example, if I will go over here to 30, I will click apply. We're gonna see how that will change. You can also always go back to the, uh, let's say the default over here, which will be in this case 100. I will see that still will not update. So if I will go back to binocular, hit apply, go back to MB binocular, and this will be that. I see that the inner cone hasn't been adjusted. So I see that the reset button doesn't really reset for that. Let me just start again. So the vision for this mannequin will be this one. And as we can see, we still want to have the last change over here. So keep that in mind when you are uh, dealing with some changes that this will only restore the, the previous fields uh, to default. But as we can see, not all of those. We can also go mono, monocular view. So we're going to have the right eye, as we can see, or the left eye. Or we can also have access to the stereo visualization, which will in fact give us two windows. So basically it's a good idea to keep it to, uh, to the second option. And this will simulate the view with both eyes. If you don't no longer have that vision view enabled, you can always access it within the product tree. We're going to have the vision over here. We can double click on that and uh, it should open. Now we can also check the vision directly within the viewport. We can change it over here. So change the display of the mannequin. I can select that I want to see the line of sight. So we're going to have that. Also the field of view. And also we can uh, center the visual cone. As we can see, this will also be visible within the, um, the secondary window over here. So this can be flat, spherical, boundings. So boundings will create that secondary surface over here, which will be visible within the viewport. The same will be for the bounded cone. And we can do something else. So within the inverse kinematic behavior, we can select the, um, the look at check over here. So to hand for active. And that means if, for example, I will start moving the, the mannequin hand over here, we're going to see how he will also look at that. So we have that field of view and we're going to see exactly where the mannequin will uh, look within the... Um, the secondary uh, vision over here. If I will select the other hand, for example, that should uh, again snap over there and this will move in real time. So if I want to move this all the way to the um, gear shifter over here, I'm going to see how the mannequin will look at that. As we can see over here, this will be currently out of reach with the current um, sitting of the mannequin so that should be also adjusted so that he will reach that uh, that better so mainly this was um these were the settings that can be done over here you can also swap back to binocular view over over here and we're gonna see also the middle where the the focus will be um let's say most sharp always within the view of uh, of the mannequin if I will move the, the hand all the way up to a corner, we're going to see how that field of view will look. And this enables um, a wide variety of analyzes within, um, within Gatia V5, especially if you want to analyze um, 
something like a tractor ca cabin like the case study that i have op open over here okay so if you enjoy this kind of content i will position a similar video over here on the left i will add my katia v5 playlist to the top and i will also add a subscribe button to the right so that's it thanks for watching